New Jersey Line for Independence. Good morning, Tom. Hi, good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for C-SPAN. Um, could I please ask about the coincidence of drills with real-world events? Here, here's an example. President Reagan's assassination attempt, at the time that occurred, there was a six presidential succession drill occurring. Are you familiar with this? Uh, I'm not familiar with the specifics of that, no. Let me try another one. On 9-11, there were a number of drills occurring, some of which interfered with the air defenses on that day. Are you familiar with them? Hey, Tom, where, where do you go to, to read up on, on these issues? Where do I go to read up on, well, Webster Tarpley's book, uh, Synthetic Terror, has a great list of the drills. Um, I think, you know, to be fair, and, and to be open with journalism, the people who are concerned about these drills, to my way of thinking, have a really good, good, good reason to be concerned. The National Defense Authorization Act says the military can arrest people, keep them in custody until the end of hostilities, and not give them a lawyer, not give them a trial, not charge them. This is the law of our country. And, and uh, you know, this is not traditional constitutional governance. Let's go to Freddie, Indianapolis, Indiana, line for Democrats. Freddie, you're on with Dan Lamont. 